In uh, this tutorial, I'm going to show how to draw a triangle. Uh, first of all, in this first example, with three specific side lengths. And in the second one, I'll flip over here, uh, if we have one side length and then two angles. So uh, let's start with the first one. Now, so um, one of the side lengths is this four centimeters here. So uh, this is going to be my initial side length now. Um, so I'm going to measure here. So notice it's uh, right on the four centimeters. And of course, I'm just showing you this, uh, you know, depending upon your your screen or your monitor that might not measure at four centimeters, but um, this is all going to be two scale because I have that ruler here. So this is my four centimeter side. Now to do the other two sides, you need either a uh, um, uh, to draw circles or you need uh, a compass. You can do it with a compass too. So I'm going to show with the circles here because I don't really have the facility for a compass. So if I have, uh, if one of my sides is three centimeters, I need to draw a circle with a radius of three centimeters. So this is going to be my three centimeter one. Now I want the radius to be three centimeters. So if it's from the center to any point, if it's three, then it would be six across the entire, like the diameter would be six. So if I go up here, I have to make my circle a bit bigger. So I want it to be so right on six. That's pretty close. So I'm going to do that from this side. So what I'm doing is I'm I'm putting the circle so its center is at one end here. So with your compass, uh, like if you're using a compass to do this, you would make the compass three centimeters long, and then you put the uh, part it rotates on here, and you'll be able to draw that. Well, you don't really need the whole circle. You just need part of it, but you could draw the whole circle. So that's going to be my three centimeter side, and I'll get to that in a moment. Now I need one with a, uh, uh, I need a circle with a radius of 2.5 centimeters. So now, if from the center out to any point is 2.5, then it would be 5 across the whole circle. So, see this one's a little bit too big, so I need to make it a little bit smaller. So I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that's right on 5. So I'm going to put that other circle, I'll get rid of my ruler here, over here. So, And I'm positioning it so it's as close as I can get. Uh, again, I want the center of the circle to be uh, right on the other end of that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw a line from this end, and I'm drawing up to where those circles cross. So that's going to be my 2 centimeter, 2.5 centimeter side. And this will be my 3 centimeter side here. And so I'm going to pull these guys away so you can see my triangle. So this side over here, actually, let me undo that. Uh, before I pull them away, you see, I've uh, because I made those circles just a certain size, see, this is supposed to be able to have a radius of 2.5. And this one is supposed to have a radius of 3. Where they cross gives me the point at the other side of the triangle uh, that's 2.5 from here and 3 from here. And of course I can double check with all of these. I can take my ruler and so I'm going to measure that 2.5 side so I need to orient it so that it's parallel to there. And you can see, see that is 2.5. And let's check the 3 over here. I think I need to rotate it just a little bit more. There we go, right there. So you can see that that side does look like it's 3, well maybe it's 3.1, but I, I was estimating where the uh, centers of the circles would be, So, but that's the right idea anyway, uh, how you draw a circle, uh, sorry, a triangle with three specific side lengths. Let's take a look at the second example now. So in this one, we're asked to draw a triangle that has a side that's 5 centimeters long, and at one end of that uh, to make the rest of the triangle. There's a 40 degree angle and there's a 65 degree angle. So there's my three measurements there. So um, now I want five centimeters of this so this is going to go a little bit shorter. Let's see, that's pretty close to five, maybe a tiny bit more. Yeah, that's pretty close to five centimeters. So this is my five centimeter side down here. 
So 40 degrees. So let's do the 40 degree angle. Uh, so I'm going to put my protractor so that the center of the protractor is right on one end of that. So you see here's the that side of the triangle lies right on this like the zero line here. So see this would be for, whoops this would be 40 degrees here. So I'm going to make a little mark right there. And let's move this protractor off. And so this is I'll do this one in purple. So I'm going to draw a line from that end through that point. And then so I want so that's going to be my 40 degree angle right down here. And then I want a 65 degree angle on the other side. So we'll put that right there. Now most protractors have scales on both sides. This one that I'm using, I, I like it because it's transparent. I can see those lines through. So 65 degrees, uh, let's do this. So you see each of these are 10. So I have to count on this side because see my angle is going to come up this way. So that the, this angle is 65 degrees. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, see this would be 65 right here. We'll mark there, move my protractor off, and draw that line. So from this side up to there, and so this should be 65 degrees. And um, so I certainly do have a 5 centimeter side here. And of course I can check here there we go. So that orange line is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65. And over here, there we go. See, so it's right on the 40, so I do have a 40 degree angle over there. And of course, if I really wanted to, I've kind of got extra parts of these lines here. I mean, I could do this. I could just trace over this and just go up to there. And I could do this if I want to get rid of the extra parts. Just draw up to there and then use my eraser tool and get rid of that. Get rid of that. This guy, this guy. So, and so there's my triangle. Uh, one five centimeter side. And uh, on one side I have an angle of 40 degrees. And the other I have an angle of 65 degrees, which is exactly what this asked me to do. So, so that's a little bit about how you can uh, use uh, protractors and rulers, or and instead of the protractor, you can use a compass too, uh, to draw triangles with specific side and angle lengths. And that's the end of the tutorial.